spoke about uh, a few things that I wanted us to do more efficiently in our man-to-man -man defense. Um, I didn't want to come out and start the half in the zone, which which we didn't. We waited a couple minutes. I can't remember how long, um, but I didn't want them to see the zone right off the bat. So we had talked about some adjustments we were going to make in our in our man-to-man -man defense. Um, but then I really didn't like that to begin. To be honest with you, at the, at the beginning of the third quarter, so we decided to go zone and. Like I said, I felt like we got them out of rhythm. We got them to take shots that we wanted them to take. Um, and then on the flip side of things, I thought we did a great job of really sharing the ball on offense. We got a little bit more of a flow offensively in the second half. I think this is a team high for us as far as the Cisco um, so far this season and just sharing the ball. Because in the first half, we just had a lot of sloppy turnovers and we weren't getting in any kind of rhythm, any kind of flow offensively. And that's something that we certainly have to, to clean up. I think sharing the ball really helped. I think just spreading out open, we... Just sharing the ball and driving and doing the extra pass really helped. Yeah, Kaz, you know, um, she was out the first time that we played Dominican, so this was her first time uh, playing against them. However, she's she's been in practices, and um, I, I thought she really gave us a spark. She knocked down some threes, which were much needed, both in the first half and the second half. And uh, I thought, as, as Madison alluded to, I thought we just did a good job of finding the open player. Um, and when we get a good shot selection, I mean, obviously it looks great when the ball goes in the net, but we, we really emphasize just getting a great shot selection, and, and I thought we did that just by moving the ball. I think Kaz helped us on the defense and offensive game. Um, her defense really helps us, and she's always talkative, and it, I think she was the spark tonight. So I've been waiting to have this conversation with the team, um, obviously, for our non-conference games to end, and just, again, the team being such a new team and, and never being in this situation before. So that that was our talk in post game was just explaining to them that, you know, non-conference is over and now it's CC2A and it's, it, it literally is a brand new season. And just the competition that we're going to see within our conference, I think we're fortunate that we get to open up conference with two home games. Um, and this year, if you guys aren't aware, we host the conference tournament and we certainly want to be participating in that conference tournament. So just having them understand the importance and the significance now that we turn the corner here to go into CC2A play as, as it truly is a brand new season. I'll tell you, man, it's like a chess match. You know, um, we play chess all the time. So everyone knows we press the whole game. So all they do all day in practice is work on the press break. So I thought um, Dominican did a good job of, of pitching the ball ahead and spacing the floor out and then they hit some some, some threes and got a little bit of a lead. I'm like, let's just be solid. We, we go full court man to man and we'll get the same results and then we'll come back to the press once our guys get into the flow of a game. Um, and they were flying around, throwing, kicking it, and one. They got two fast break layups to start the game. Kim did a great job of not fouling and trying to protect the hole. Um, so I just thought that uh, they did a good job of preparing for it and we'll bring it back as the floor of the game. Uh, go, moves on and, and we did we was able to bring it back I think at like the 9 minute mark in the second half and, and we went on like maybe like a 6-0 run um, so it was good for us down the stretch I felt during the whole week during practice the emphasis was more because um, they're playing 2-3 zone so emphasis was more get to the short corner middle and trying to space them out and I felt that the whole week our team did a good job of you know passing the balls finding open guys and finding me down there you know and I just had to produce and do my job down there and score the ball when I had it. So I feel it was a great job for them to give me open looks and, you know, create shots for me. So all the credit to them for real. To, to be honest with you, I watched just very little San Francisco State, just just, just a, maybe a half of them, only because the same thing I preach to my guys, we play one game tournaments and we worry about the team that's at hand. I do know that they, um, they, they, they lost their last two games. Um, and they, we'll see a little bit of zone, a little bit of man. They, they're significantly smaller than us. They, they're the biggest guy they play is 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. They play good minutes. But they'll be scrappy, and, and they'll play well. And if we don't, like I told my guys, this is college basketball. If you don't come prepared, if you don't play with great intensity and great effort, any team is capable of coming in here and, and beating you. Um, you know, we, I, I dubbed us the cardiac kids because everyone in the, in, the, uh, in the stands get a, get a, get a heart start hurting uh, as as we as we come to the end of the game because they such nail biters. But all oh, credit to my guys, you know. One coach I worked for once told me, he said, um, you know, winning close games isn't 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 luck. Winning close games is, is preparation, okay? Preparation, and you prepare. And we prepare for these scenarios every day in practice. We play up seven, down seven, up 15, down 15, just so that we get comfortable when we get in situations like this. And um, it's just another situation we had. You know, we won us a lot, a lot of close games, but I think that's going to be really good for, for our poise down the stretch in the tough 
uh, CCAA. Um, and San Francisco will be a battle. We got to come in and hold our home court and do what we need to do. And I, and I think if we, if we do that and we prepare the right way and we be, stay disciplined, we'll be fine. Oh, yeah. No, it's been amazing. Coach said when he recruited me and saying everything that uh, we play well enough that, well, like, we can own this city and everything. I feel it with these fans and everything. They um, bring great energy, positivity, and everything every night. And just walking around the community, you know, walking around Arcadia, you're good. Just noticing us and just saying good job and everything. I mean, these fans and everything does. So, appreciate all of it. So.